How do you introduce dogs to each other? It's a big deal, right? Those initial sniffles and wags can set the stage for years of best friendship, or at least peaceful coexistence. We all want the dogs in our life to get along, but this isn't always as easy as throwing two pups into a room together. Introducing dogs the wrong way can lead to tension, anxiety, and even conflicts, making it hard for them to ever truly get along. So, what are the steps to introduce to dogs? Whether you're bringing a new dog into your home or just meeting a friend's pup, we've covered everything you need to know to make those first meetings safe and enjoyable. All right, so the first thing you gotta do when introducing dogs to each other is to pick a spot where neither dog feels like they own the turf. You know, it's kinda like meeting a new friend at a coffee shop instead of someone's living room. You want a nice outdoor spot where both pups can be on leashes and kinda do their own thing but together, if that makes sense. Each person holding a leash should also have a little baggie of super yummy treats. Think of it as the doggy equivalent of having snacks at a meetup. At the beginning, keep the dogs far enough apart so they can peek at each other without getting all worked up. Now, if they're both being cool and not acting all grumpy or scared, that's your moment to dish out some treats. Let's say the dog you're walking takes a glance at the other pooch. That's your cue to be all cheerful and say something like, good boy or good girl, and give them a little treat. It's all about making them think, hey, seeing that other dog means I get something tasty. You gotta keep doing this to build up those good vibes between them. So, after you've got them chilling on neutral ground and snacking on treats for just spotting each other, the next step is like being a bit of a detective and observe dog's body language. You gotta keep your eyes peeled on how they're both acting. It's all about reading their body language to catch any signs if they're feeling iffy or ready to rumble. Like if their fur gets all spiky on their back, they show their teeth, growl, walk like robots with super stiff legs, or just stare down each other like they're in some old western showdown. Spotting any of that means you gotta smoothly step in, distract them with something else, and basically say, hey, let's not go down that road. But if they're looking all loose and happy, like they're just hanging out without a care in the world, you're golden. That's your cue to let them get a tad closer, still keeping those treats coming whenever they sneak a peek at each other without going all stiff or grumpy. Think of it as rewarding them for being cool, calm, and collected. You're there to keep things safe, but also cheering them on when they're doing great by keeping it friendly. All right, the next step is to get the pups walking together, but in a super chill way. You start by walking them side by side, but not too close. Think of it like they're both in their own lanes. You're aiming for a vibe where they know the other is there, but they're not all up in each other's grill trying to figure things out just yet. And here's a cool trick. After a bit, flip-flop position so each dog can sniff around where the other one walked. Sniffing where the other dog did their business is key because it's how dogs get the 411 on each other. It's like checking out someone's profile before you meet them. Once they're cool being closer, let one take the lead and then swap so each gets a turn being in front and behind. This is the doggy version of after you, no after you. If everything's still going smooth, you can let them walk side by side and see how that goes, always ready to dial it back if anyone starts getting edgy. The grand final is letting them actually say hi under your watchful eye, making sure both are still feeling good about the meet and greet. After you've had them walking together, the next big leap is letting them hang out without the leashes. Do this, but only if you're feeling good about their vibe together. Head back to a safe, enclosed spot where they can roam free, but still be under your watchful eye. Let those leashes go, but keep a close watch. Make sure the coast is clear of any toys, snacks, or anything else they might squabble over. And keep an eagle eye on them for any signs of trouble, especially when things get a bit too exciting. Give them a bit of time to do the doggy introduction thing, sniffing around, getting to know each other's scent, and don't forget to shower them with praise when they're being chill about it. Now, you might see them start to play, which is awesome. Keep an eye out for the play bow, that adorable move where they drop the front half of their body down, but in the air, like they're inviting the other to a dance-off. That's doggy for let's be friends. If you see them getting a bit too heated, no worries. Just go back to the parallel walking routine and give it another shot later when things have cooled down. 
Once you feel like they're really getting the hang of this friendship thing, you can start to relax a bit more. Eventually, when you're confident they're best buds, you can let them hang out more freely at home. And that's how to introduce dogs to each other. Remember, it's all about patience, understanding their body language, and keeping things positive with plenty of treats and praise along the way. If you found this video helpful and you're keen on learning more tips and tricks about keeping your furry friends happy and healthy, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got loads more insights, how-tos, and heartwarming doggy content coming your way. So, ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things canine. Thanks for watching, and here's to many happy dog introductions ahead.